Now to our series Renters Rights. This morning we are focusing on evictions. Last night during my I-Team investigation, we told you about this local woman living in disgusting conditions who stopped paying her rent because she said the property manager did nothing to repair the plumbing in her bathroom. She said that the room was also filled with mold and that she had been living like this for months. She stopped paying the rent because of it, as I mentioned, and was then evicted. Now we're taking a closer look at your rights when it comes to eviction. James Tyre is an attorney with Jacksonville Area Legal Aid, which offers free legal advice to the public and is joining us now live via Zoom. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Jen. Happy to be here. So first, in general, we have heard from renters uh, in, in the past that their landlord has given them 24, 72 hours to vacate the property. Is that legal? Do they have to leave right away? No. Um, a landlord's bound to a lease agreement just like a tenant is. Um, there's specific reasons they can terminate a lease and they require a certain notice. If it's a non-renewal at the end of a lease, it depends on how long the lease is, um, how much notice they have to give. If it's for a non-payment of rent, it's got to be a three-day notice for a serious lease violation, seven-day notice. And in no case can a landlord force the tenant out. You've got to go through the court process and the tenant's going to have the opportunity to stay and defend through the court process. And that is so important because we have received def desperate calls from people who say, my landlord's telling us I have to leave in a day. They do not have to do that. There is a legal process you have to go through through the courts. So can a landlord just terminate a lease for no apparent reason? No. Again, if it's a year lease, there's only specific reasons they can terminate a lease. However, uh, for month to month renters, uh, a landlord can agree to not renew or can decide not to, re to renew a lease agreement. Uh, within 15 days notice for no reason as long as it's non-discriminatory. Um, if there's a prior lease agreement that might modify or change the 15-day requirement, it might be 30 days, typically not more than that. Um, and of course, certain subsidized housing landlords have to give good cause for non-renewals. But yeah, renters with month-to-month -month leases, 15 days notice for no reason. Hmm. When a tenant receives an eviction notice, they can fight it in court. And I think that it's very important that our viewers, particularly renters, are listening to this. If they feel they've not done anything wrong in particular, they'd want to, to, to fight it in court. What should a tenant do if they receive an eviction notice? Well, they absolutely must not ignore the notice. Uh, if they ignore the notice, it just means there's going to be a default judgment entered against them. And that will follow their rental record. Uh, any debts associated can be reported to credit agencies. So a tenant absolutely needs to uh, look at the summons and complaint that will be served on them. They need to follow it very specifically. They've got to file an answer within five days. Um, and if it's for a non-payment of rent, they need to deposit the, the, the rent the landlord alleges is due or file a letter with the court explaining why they don't think they owe it and attaching supporting documentation. If they fail to do those things, a default might be answered against them. Yeah, it's you can't ignore it. So before a renter, James, moves in, it's important, of course, that they take a lot of pictures of the apartment, inspect it, fill out the checklist of repairs and conditions. Why is it so important, though, to read the entire list? Lease, <laughs> excuse me. Sure, yeah, the lease agreement, it's really important for a tenant to go all the way through. We have tenants all the time that get caught up paying extra charges they weren't aware of because they didn't read all the way through the lease agreement. Sometimes landlords can waive additional responsibilities, certain repairs they have to make, they can put that burden on the tenant. We see this kind of thing all the time. Uh, unless these lease uh, terms and provisions directly contradict the Florida Residential and Landlord Tenant Act, it's likely that the lease agreement will control, regardless of whether the tenant was aware of those charges or terms. And, and James, I just want to make sure that our, our, our viewers, particularly renters, are listening very closely, because many of them call us. We're not attorneys, and we appreciate hearing from them because we want to help them whenever we can. But the reality is, is I'm shocked by how many are unaware that Jacksonville Area Legal Aid offers free advice and counsel to tenants, a, a, among other things that they do as well. Could you explain, please, the services that you offer? Sure. Our office and in, in my unit, uh, we, like you said, we provide advice and counsel to tenants um, with various different issues, with lease violation issues, with non-payment or rent evictions, um, with conditions issues with the property. As long as the tenant qualifies based on our certain criteria, we can provide them free legal assistance and sometimes we can represent them in the court actions themselves. James Tyre joining us from Jacksonville Area Legal Aid. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Of course, thank you. And we want to remind our viewers also, if you missed my story yesterday, my I-Team investigation, Renters' Rights Mold, we have it posted right now on newsforjax.com. That information will walk you through if you have mold. So you know the steps that you must take legally because you can't just stop.
paying your rent. There are certain legal steps that you have to take so that you can successfully fight it in court if you are evicted. And of course, join us also to uh, mon Monday on the morning show. We are continuing this series and we will focus specifically on your rights as a renter when it comes to your security deposit.